एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी से टी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ब्रेक इवन एनालिसिस ब्रेक इवन एनालिसिस हेल्प बिजनेसेस टू नो द पॉइंट वेयर टोटल रेवेन्यू जस्ट बिकम इक्वल टू टोटल कॉस्ट ब्रेक इवन एनालिसिस हेल्प बिजनेसेस टू नो द पॉइंट वेयर टोटल रेवेन्यू जस्ट बिकम इक्वल टू टोटल कॉस्ट and a point where total revenue become equal to total cost will be called break even point in short we can say that break even analysis help businesses to know how much revenue they need in order to cover its cost by calculating the point where total revenue just become equal to total cost so break even point means where total revenue just equal to total cost now we'll see formula of break even analysis in this uh, formula beq means uh, break even uh, quantities break even uh, quantities means uh, how much uh, quantities we need to sell in order to reach a point where total revenue just become equal to total cost so formula of calculating beq is equal to fixed cost over selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit suppose a fixed cost is 2 lakh and sales price per unit is 10 and variable cost per unit is 5 when we solve this equation our answer will be 40000 this 40000 will be called break even quantities in order to reach at the point where total revenue just become equal to total cost we need to sell 40000 uh, quantities now we we'll see diagram of break even analysis on x axis we have quantities y axis we have revenue and cost this horizontal line represent a fixed cost this one is total cost this one is total revenue at this e point total revenue is equal to total cost that's why e point will be called break even point before e point you can see total cost is more than total revenue after e point you can see total revenue is more than total cost but at this e point total revenue is just equal to total cost that's why e point will be called break even point advantages of break even analysis optimum level of production break even analysis help to decide optimum level of production which we need in order to cover our all expenditures set sales target break even analysis help to know how much uh, quantities we need to sell in order to reach at a break even point obviously it will help in setting a sales target pricing strategy by knowing a break even point we can easily set the price of our product which ensure a profit of businesses and break even a price is enough to recover our all uh, expenditures mitigate risk break even analysis help businesses to mitigate risk by avoiding investments which are not profitable and investments are not profitable which take a very long time period to reach their break even point predict a profit after break even point company start making a profit obviously break even analysis help in prediction of profit informed decision making Break even analysis help businesses to inform the decision making by providing clear understanding of relationship between cost, sales, and profit. Now we'll see limitations of break even analysis. Ignore changes in price of input. Prices of inputs are continuous changing. For example, prices of labor or material are continuous changing. But break even analysis ignore changes in prices of input. similar it also ignore changes in prices of product this is very static analysis because it assume constant relationship between sales quantities and cost assume consistent market condition break even analysis ignore changes in market condition as you know market conditions are continuous changing but break even analysis assume consistent market condition assume constant cost but in reality cost are not constant ignore external factor like social factor political factor economic factor it does not consider time period like short time or long time period so this is all about break even analysis i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care